there everybody, my name is Kirsty Our Dogs, the Ball Ball Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News room update. This is from Dollywood and we have some very exciting news. Now before we get started and show you guys what's going on, uh, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell to see you next YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family and on social media and make sure you get your questions in for the subscriber Q&A to celebrate 1500 subs, 1500. Make sure you get your question in using the hashtag question before or after your question uh, or both. Someone's done both which is good. Uh, and for now guys, let's get into this video. So we have a massive announcement coming up from Dollywood on March 13th. Now we saw this on Reddit, uh, so I'm going to put it on your screen now. Find out a bit of it. Uh, so, basically, Dollywood's 35th anniversary season grand opening slash announcement of the largest investment plan in Dollywood history. Uh, when? 13th of March, 10.30am, America time. So that'll be, you know, late evening in the uh, in the UK. Uh, but I will stay tuned as to what they'll announce so I can try and record a video first. Uh, media check-in begins at 9.15. Please plan accordingly. So if you are media and you're invited to this, please go ahead at 9.15. Uh, it's in Dollywood's preferred parking area, brackets lot G. Check-in is located in the preferred parking area entrance to the park. Dollywood team members will escort media from check-in to the event site. So here's some notes. Plan to join Dolly Parton for the beginning of Dollywood's exciting 35th anniversary season and the announcement everyone will be talking about. At the event, Dolly unveils details about the largest investment plan in Dollywood's history, as well as plans for the park's milestone 2020 season. Media have an opportunity to learn more about the season's packed calendar events, including the new Flower and Food Festival, presented by Covent Health. Event, uh, at event attendees also have an opportunity to experience Dollywood's opening event, Festival of Nations. So, that's two things already technically announced for the 2020 season. But, uh, what are my thoughts on that? Well, first of all, 2020. This is going to be a year of events, in my opinion. And I think it's pretty clear there's not going to be any new rides. But I might be surprised. I might, might get a late announcement of a new ride in May or something, like a family ride or something. Uh, but I think the most, I think the people, things that most people, including the enthusiasts mainly, will be inside, excited about is, of course, the Dollywood largest investment plan in history. Now, this might, so obviously we've had the last investment plan that includes things like Wildwood Grove, Lightning Rod, uh, different things like that. So we've had some massive things. But of course this investment plan is going to be extra special because of course we've got the, uh, we have the dart ride surveys. If you haven't seen that video, go and check out the Hershen Family Entertainment Playlist. Um from all those parks, Silver Dollar City, Dollywood, all those parks. Uh, and there's a video on there about the dark ride surveys, but there's also a video on there about the coaster surveys. There's three main types of coasters, an indoor coaster, a Mac Extreme spinning coaster, and a B&M Hyper. Now, from what I saw on another video on this announcement, announcement, uh, <laughs> announcement, announcement, um, from what I saw on someone else's video, it seems like, reportedly, the B&M Hyper won by a landslide victory. So... Um, I, I'm i very excited to see if they do announce a B&M Hyper for this park. I think a B&M Hyper is one of the big types of coasters that they're missing at the park. One of the big B&Ms they're missing at the park. Um, you know, they've got a B&M wing, they've got, um, you know, they've got, um, yeah, you got the B&M wing, you, <clears throat> which is Wild Eagle, which opened, uh, way back in 2012. Um... You know, you've got plenty of fantastic roller coasters uh, at this park, and I think that, uh, as well as a B&M Invert and a B&M Flyer, I think that a B&M Hyper is something that the park have been missing, uh, in my opinion. Now, one big thing that is pretty much guaranteed to be involved in this investment plan is, of course, the reported Phase 2 of the Wildwood Grove area. Now, in my personal opinion, my theory is that will be the Dart Ride. Now, there is talks, uh, and I've seen evidence on Facebook, of possibly they're going to be investing in a shooter Dart Ride. Uh, as part of Wild World Grow Phase 2, so uh, I'm putting my money on that being true and being a reality when it's announced on March 13th. Um, so I'm thinking a shooter dart ride for Wild World Grove, um, and then of course I'm thinking of being a hyper, and I think that will go on the Mountain Sidewinder site, and I think that will answer that question of what's going to happen to that site now as well. So I think both the Wild World Grow Phase 2 and the Mountain Sidewinder site future will be. The futures and the sort of questions will be answered um, on March 13th. 
Um, now, in my personal opinion, if it's the largest investment plan, I don't think we're just seeing coasts and dart rides. I think we're seeing plenty more than that. We could see a couple of flat rides, a couple of family rides. Um, we could see another hotel, maybe a water park. I've always wanted to see a Dollywood camping or a Dollywood glamping, like Chessington, the World of Adventures here in the UK has got, with their Chessington glamping. Um, I'd like to see a Go Ape, maybe, at Dollywood. I'd like to see that. Something like Mystic River Falls, if that goes down well at Silver Dollar City, I think Dollywood would be very happy to invest in a Mystic River Falls type ride. Not sure where out in the park, but maybe it could go some, somewhere in the park. Uh, either a place of ride or an expansion area. Um, but you know what? I've got a funny feeling we could see all three coasters happen. Now this might be a long shot, but I think we could see the B&M Hyper and the Extreme Spinning Coaster at some point and the Indoor Coaster. The indoor coaster for me is uh, is easy because I think the indoor coaster could replace Blazing Fury. Now, um, if you don't know exactly what Blazing Fury is, um, for those of you who need a little bit of extra information, if you if if any of you out there aren't exactly familiar uh, with uh, the Dollywood theme park. Um, Blazing Fury is a, is a family indoor roller coaster, a dark ride coaster um, that opened back in 1978. So, you know, you've got, you know, you've got an you've got an interesting sort of, um, I guess, um, set of coasters at this park. And I think the Blazing Fury being the, um, you know, the the indoor coaster, the family coaster. I think you could definitely replace that with an indoor coaster at some point. Uh, obviously, uh, in terms of the extreme coasters uh, via uh, RCDB, uh, the oldest one being 1999, the Texas Tornado. So, uh, you know, I think that, um, you know, Tennessee Tornado, you know, they're getting rid of Arrow Custom Loopers at the minute. Does it have a long-term future at Dollywood? Maybe, maybe not. I think if they were to replace Tennessee Tornado, I think that would be the site for the Extreme Spinning Coaster, in my opinion. Uh, so, I think Blazing Fury could go for the indoor. I think Tennessee Tornado could potentially go on the way out uh, with the demolishment of Arrow Looping Coasters um, and be replaced by an Extreme Spinner. And I think that the b and Hyper will definitely go on the Mountain Sidewinder site. I can't think of any other site other than Mountain Sidewinder for this b and Hyper. So, um... Yeah, very exciting stuff from Dollywood. I can't wait to see what's going to be announced. So, uh, there we go. So, that's my thoughts and theories on Dollywood's announcement and my final predictions ready for the announcement on March 13th. I'll be staying tuned. Don't you worry about that. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the OK so never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you uh, get your questions in for the Q&A as well using the hashtag question before or after your question in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Keep on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.